Okay, hang on. Are you hearing me? Oh man, this is so hard <laughs> with the Zoom. Okay, I'm, uh, 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 I'm turning on the Zoom. Where's, oh shoot, hold on. Why am I not seeing myself? Oh, I am totally not seeing this. Okay, hold on. It's supposed to be live. Okay. Not seeing myself. I don't know oh, why I'm, I'm not totally seeing not myself. Seeing this. Okay. okay, hold on. <laughs> it's supposed to be live. Okay, hold on. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. I don't know why I'm not seeing myself. Oh, okay. oh. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Okay, this is not right. So I'm I'm supposed to have the zoom up. So hold on. Okay. Okay, this is all right. It's working. Okay. All right. So for some reason, I am live on the Facebook, but I cannot see myself on my, so I'm going back to Zoom. Hold on, hold on. See, I'm just getting a little too fancy for my own good. Okay, so let me, I'm gonna join a meeting. I started my own meeting. I even had, okay, I'm hosting a meeting with the video on. Hold on. I'm not starting a new meeting. Hold on. Hold on. This is insane. I got so good at this and now it's stopping. Okay, hold on. See, this is why I don't like you. I, I do not like using my laptop. It is so much easier on my phone. So here's what I'm going to do. I am going to, okay, it says I'm now live. <laughs> and that's so weird that I cannot see myself in any way. Okay, which means I am going to, which means I can't let Mark in. So hold on, I'm still working on this. Sorry, this is embarrassing. Uh, okay, all right, hold on. my meetings zoom i'm going there i'm joining i'm joining now i'm allowing myself to join my own meeting okay there i am wow that's embarrassing god i thought i had the tech stuff pretty down but then when you add the zoom on top of the facebook live on top of the live cooking it just gets complicated okay so uh i'm back here we are it's um it's cooking with liz um and you know this season season 10 is uh is mama capra's marinara sauce um which we're very excited about i hope you saw yesterday because you know you could see how much kick this sauce has in it but I also want to say we're giving the season finale a special name. My cousin, uh, Susan Morningstar, in the thread yesterday or this morning, um, because we were also inspired by, what water boiling, hang on. Because we were also inspired by oh, the SpaceX takeoff. So Susan said, today, SauceX docks with Linguini. So that's the name of our finale. SauceX docks with Linguini, live. Okay. so. Um, so, okay, that's good. So I already have the linguine water behind me. Now I'm going to um, invite Mark in. Uh, let's just see if we can get Mark in here. You know, Mark Capra, your dear friend, Mark Capra, this is his mama, Mama Capra, Virginia is, is her name. So um, Mark, we, I can see your black box and I'll just wait for your picture. Oh, there you are. Okay, you're, you have to turn your, you're muted. You're muted. I'm not muted anymore. We, uh, Liz, I thought we started a little Italian music. <laughs> don't, do, don't do that. That'll just screw me up here. I'm sorry. There's too much audio, video. Obviously, 
I'm already like five minutes into this. So anyway, okay. So, so Mark, so this is it. This is when um, things get real because now I'm going to do the linguine and played it for you and then catch you up on what I've been doing with the Caesar salad. Uh, and you're going to get to see it all unfold. Okay. Oh my God. I'm so excited. I was so nervous yesterday. <laughs> well, when I saw the comments afterwards, okay. So I will confess it does look like maybe I put too much of the basil in and maybe the pieces were too big, but I think it's still going to taste delicious. Oh. And hold on. And there were there were just one or two other things I wanted to say. Oh no, let me start the linguine. I, th I think I need to. So I want to show you. Okay, so here's the linguine. I bought. Oh, oh, nice tricolor. I, I don't normally go for the tricolore, uh, but a it was the only thing they had in the store in the linguine department, and b this is what you were wearing in the season premiere. Exactly. Uh, it's very, uh, very theme. I like it a lot. Tricolor is very nice. Delicious. Okay. Thank you. So now I'm going to um, I'm going to just drop some of this linguine. I'm not cooking all of it. Dropping a little bit of each of the colors in here because I don't need to cook too too much. Okay. Okay. And um, oh, I was going to move this. So because you know I hate having my the back of my head to the camera. So I'm going to put. I'm moving my FabFitFun box now with the laptop on top of it. And here you go. Now you can see a little bit more of what's going on on the stove. Wow. So, Looks like a lot going on. There's a lot going on here. There's a lot going on. And um, okay, I want to I wanna get you a peek at, uh, at the sauce. So can you see that? Ah, uh, okay. that's looking like Mama Capra sauce. <laughs> so it smells delicious, I taste tested it. Okay, so the linguine, it says that it just takes two minutes here, this linguine. Cause it's fresh linguine. Cause so it's, it's fresh. Good. Yeah, yeah, cause it's fresh. So, uh, so we'll just give that, um, yeah. It says gently add the pasta, which I did, and stir for one minute. Oh, I'm not stirring. Uh, okay. We can, we can chat while I stir, stir for one minute and then um, lightly boil for two minutes. So, so okay. So are there any comments you would like to make on my, my technique during the mise en place? Yes. Well, well, actually, um, I, I don't really have any, but I did show the video to Mama Capra, who greatly enjoyed it, but she tends to be a little bit more critical than I am. <laughs> okay. And, and she was, um, yeah, she was a little critical with the basil not being chopped up more finely. More finely, yeah. Yeah, she, um, yeah, I won't use the language that she used. <laughs> but that, but, you know, I think that it's okay. Um, uh, and, you know, she, she also said maybe there was just a little bit, I kept sending messages and every, all of your audience kept, but you didn't, I know. you weren't responding. Oh, it's it's, I can only see them in batches. And remember, in an earlier season, I, I kept getting warned about food safety, Mark, that I can't keep touching the food and then touching the camera. Got so, it. So I have to keep scrolling on my phone. They don't automatically pop up. So All right, well, but I don't think it's a big deal because I think basil, I like I said, I'm not afraid of basil. I'm not afraid of garlic. So hmm. you are you are not afraid of garlic. Right. Are, these, are these backwards to you? No, they're forwards. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is another part of the technology. Sometimes they're better, sometimes they're not. It's like Zoom gets them right, but um, the Facebook Live gets them wrong. So when you're doing both, I have no idea what you people are seeing. So, okay, so now- No, but other than that, she thought your whole approach was very good. It seemed to be under control. You got the right tomatoes, the oil, the, the, the red pepper. Everything was really good. She did protest a little bit about the vodka and the red uh, wine because she only uses vodka, but I like it with both. Okay, well, I was just following the recipe you sent me and yeah, you had both in there. So I blame that on you. I hope you told her that was your fault, not my fault. Yes, I did. I took all responsibility for that. <laughs> okay, all right. So that seemed awful fast. Did it really cook? It really cooks that fast? 
that the pasta two minutes yeah. I, don't, I don't i don't i don't have that much experience with that pasta so i don't know each one is a little different okay. but but taste it again italian cooking is all about tasting this I know. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't see know. Like. <laughs> I don't know how much of that you can see. Okay. Taste. It should be a little al dente. That's how you do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think that's right. Okay. Great. Okay. So I'm turning that off. Now I read the instructions like ten times, Mark. So I drain the linguine, and then I put some of the sauce in the linguine pot. And then I add the linguine back into the pot, right? Exactly, because then it allows the the sauce to really uh, stick with the linguine, yeah. Okay, so so this is it, people. Remember, we said this is when uh, sauce X docks with the linguine. It is happening. Oh, and I have one other special thing I want to say. You know, you know how much I love um, I love the Betty, but this is all about the ladling now. So I found this really nice ladle. You saw this the other day. I'm gonna dub this the Virginia, okay? Because okay. mom, mom and Papa is Virginia. So I'm gonna use the Virginia and it said two to three ladles full into the- Yeah, well, it depends on the pasta you're using and how much pasta, don't drown it. You can't keep telling me it depends, Mark. Well, that... But you're using a little bit less pasta. So I would start off with, start off with one and a half ladles. One and a half, okay, here we go. Here's a half, about a half. Yeah. And then I'll show you what's in there. Put the Virginia back in the pot there. And then, okay, oh my God, this smells so good. So that's. Whoop. Yeah, that's good. It's just two, and you can always add more once you plate it. Okay, so that's what that looks like. Okay, nice. this is really exciting. Now the linguine is about to dock. So, huh. okay, we got this. Let's see. You said we have a docking. <laughs> what? I said, you said we have a docking. We're about to dock. <laughs> okay. Let me change the camera angle a little bit so you can see a little more of that. Okay. Nice technique. Okay, we're just adding that in. You can just dump it in, Liz. I can dump it. Okay, I'm dumping now. I'm dumping right. now. Okay. And now I'll swirl it around. Okay, now hang on. Let me adjust this. Okay. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, hold on. I feel like I need to, I need to show everyone what this looks like. The, ooh, okay. Look at how pretty. You know, it's nice that the tomatoes are just a little bit chunky, but I mashed them up pretty well. Right. Yeah. I didn't actually see your, your, your mashing technique, but I, I trust that it looks like the final product looks great. Yes. Okay. All right. So now, so now we got that going. Uh, so here's what that looks like. That looks good. I, you know, I have to stand up here to see it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see if I can see the lab shooting it with the laptop. I know everybody prefers it. I do not because. Oh, oh that looks, there it is. Okay. <laughs> You're just going to have to see it on the plate. Okay. I'm just getting wait. dizzy. <laughs> but the docking is complete. It also has been stocked with the linguine. Uh, okay, so now, um, right, all right, right, plating. Okay, so I'm using I'm using one of my good plates because this has like stars and moons on it, which goes totally with our theme. Do you know that the the name of my pattern is Eclipse? Who knew? I didn't even know that. That, but I, that, I learned that this morning. That's a beautiful play. Typically, as an Italian, you would probably use more of a bowl, but I think it'll work. I have bowls. I, I would use a bowl. Okay, then that's what I'll do. I can go with my regular bowl, you know, my nice celadon oh, bowl. That's nice. Or I have the blue. Uh, what, what goes better with the tricolor? I guess the green. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so hang on. All right, so now we're going to, where did I put, somewhere here, oh, here are my tongs. Okay, so this, I don't, I don't know what you can see and what you can't. Okay, so okay. here's the bowl. And then. Oh, that looks good. 
Oh my goodness, that looks beautiful. Okay. And it looks like, yeah, I, it, it's hard for me to see, but do you think it has enough sauce or you could just ladle a little bit of sauce on top? Okay, according to your instructions, I'm supposed to ladle a little more on, but I also put the cheese on now too, right? Well, ladle the sauce first and then sprinkle with cheese. Okay, all right. So I'm just gonna ladle, here we go. And it got the Virginia going. Ooh, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. That looks good there with the that little looks good. sauce. And now, hold on. My goodness, you know, when you have a giant cardboard box on top of your stove with a live laptop and you can go here and it gets very confusing. It's got a lot of room. And you're trying to show people, and this is why I can't see the comments. Now you're, you're doing great. You're doing okay. great. I'm sure the comments are all very positive. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now, okay, so now we're going to, so now we put a little more sauce on. Now I have my zester out. You're zesting the cheese? I'm zesting the cheese. Okay. So. Yeah, my, mo my mama cup was a little bit critical about the zester also, but I, 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 I let her know, you know, I just gave her confidence that it would work. She wanted a more conventional cheese grater? Ah, you know, okay. yeah, she's not used to well, zesting cheese. Yeah. I might've even put on too much because I get carried no. away. No, How that's that? fine. I think that's okay. good. All right. Oh my goodness. Don't be afraid of the cheese either. Don't be afraid of, you're just not afraid of anything. You're not no. afraid of the garlic. You're not afraid of the anchovies. You're not afraid of the cheese. Okay. All right. So there's that. And then, then there's the Caesar salad. I wanted to catch people up on what I did with the Caesar salad. Okay. okay. I'm going to put this back over here. Who this is confusing. And I kind of got off to a false start there too. So I feel like I have a lot of catching up to do. Did you taste the pasta? Oh. Remember, it's all about tasting. Okay. Why are you doing it? Mm. And I'll tell you how beautiful it looks. Wow. It does look great. Okay. Mm. Slurp. You have to slurp. You have to slurp? Mm. Yeah. Okay. Julie warned me right before the show started today. My sister Julie texted to me to say, remember marinara stains. <laughs> but don't be afraid of the stains. That's it. Was that a good flirt? Yeah, <laughs> how does that taste? It has so much flavor. It's really amazing. But it also has a real kick to it. Even though the sauce is light. The red pepper gives it a little bit of kick, huh? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow, I feel like I could even use a little more cheese on here, but. Yeah, don't be afraid of the cheese. <laughs> I'm not afraid of anything now, Mark, because sauce X has doctor with the linguine. I have nothing, and nothing question, to be afraid of anymore. Question for you, now that you, um, we had a discussion about the basil, now that you've tasted it, what do you think? Do you think it we could use a little less basil or are you fine with the basil? Um. I'm fine with the basil, but I can understand how it might be better with less basil. <laughs> yeah, you know, like I could, I can imagine it with less basil. I can, okay. yes, that seems like that would be reasonable too. So that might be just a refinement the next time you make it. It's yeah. fine with the bit, but yeah. it might be just yeah, a little bit more even with a little okay. less basil. Okay. okay. But now we have to finish the Caesar salad. Remember, it's my favorite. What's going on here? So last night I did. Uh, I, I told everyone I was going to test batch the croutons because I didn't. There were there was no baguette at the store, so I had to actually finish baking a take and bake loaf. Then I cut that. Then I sliced that. Then I smeared the olive oil and garlic on that. Then I baked to that. So that's what last night's test batch came out like. Can you hold one up? <laughs> oh, they're cut and square. Okay, they look good. Okay. Well, they're not. I would say my one. This is why you do a test batch, Mark. I would what? say they're slightly misshapen. They're not like no, this. No, I, that's fine. This is not ideal. Cool. This is not ideal. Um, so that's why I felt like for the finale, my new batch, I should really work on shape because the flavor was good and it could be a little crunchier. So, okay, crunchy is important. Shape is not so important. 
Okay. Let me tie you okay. Okay. So hang on. So I'll show you. So I. So there's another. Okay. So here you go. Here's the final batch. The okay. Shape, the shape is definitely better. Great. Those look good. Crunchier. Oh, totally crunchier. Yeah. Great. Yeah. So. Okay. So now. So here's the salad. Just plain romaine lettuce. Romaine lettuce. I already dressed it. I'm going to explain the dressing in a second. Now I put a few of these on here. Don't be afraid of the croutons. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm not afraid of croutons. Okay. The croutons are now on top of the Fat Fit Fun box. Um, so that's not going to work because I need to move the camera again. Okay. And. Now I'm good. I'm not, maybe I'll just leave this here. Okay, so now I have, I already dressed the salad, but I just wanted to let people know, here's what it looks like. I thought it looked great. So it this, does look good. Perfect. this is the real anchovies and everything. A lot of garlic, again, don't be afraid of the garlic. Don't be afraid of the anchovies. And then the last thing I put in is the egg. And the egg just completely changes the texture of the whole the thing. The texture of it, right? So I know a lot of people are, they are afraid of raw eggs and, you know, to each his own. But to me, the raw egg really made the whole, made the whole thing. And, and you know the other thing, you know why we chop the anchovies? No. Because so many people say they don't like to anchovies, but when you chop them up and you put it in, they don't even know they're there and they taste it and they love it. Oh, so you sneak them in, you're sneaking them in. It's, there. it's, yeah, it's uh, yeah, undercover anchovies. Okay, now I zest a little more on here, right? Yep, some okay. nice cheese. You know what I would do? I would mix it all up first and then zest. Okay, all right. And the cheese is the final touch on top. The final so just touch. Mix it all up, nice. Okay, I gotta say, even just like this, I mean, I know it's just a green salad, but I am very proud of myself because those croutons are crispy and the dressing smells delicious. So, look beautiful. So, okay, so now, now we got the zester out and we're just doing a little bit of this. I make this recipe at least once a week. And it's something I've been doing since I've been, I think 13 years old. I was the king of the Caesar salad. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's what it looks like now. Perfect. Nice, huh? Okay, I'm gonna tip this up a little bit. And now I'm gonna serve myself, um, I'm gonna serve myself a Caesar salad. Taste I, it. I do not have anyone coming to the tasting window today. It's just too much when I have the Zoom and the guest and I haven't even, we haven't even gotten to the comments yet. So I just thought I would, I'm gonna just feed myself and I'll tell you whether it's any good or not. And Italian food is about enjoying yourself. <laughs> okay, that's what I am about to do then. I'm going to enjoy my own salad. Okay. Okay. All right. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. Again, it has a little kick to it because you have the strong flavor of the anchovies, but I love that. Isn't that nice? Mm -hmm. Love it. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I, you know, I, again, all the ingredients could be tempered down a little bit with the garlic if, if you're really you know, sensitive to garlic. Mm -hmm. I like a very robust flavor. Mm -hmm. And I think that that, you know, works well that way. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, now, now I'm going to see if I can get back to the Facebook page where the comments are, because okay. I, I have so many screens up right now, I can't even tell you. <laughs> So I'm going to go there and let's see the comments. Okay. <laughs> but now I have to hear myself over here in delay. That's not good. So hold on, hold on. This is, I think I've overdone it this week, Mark. I mean, it just is all too much. So hold on. <laughs> ah! Okay. That's okay. I'm turning this off turning this down and finding your comments over here on my phone where it's way easier. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, I don't want to reply to anyone yet. Okay, so here we go. Uh, let's see, let's see who's, okay. Linda says, Mr. Caesar would be so proud. Thank you, Linda. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well, I was trying to make Mark proud and make Virginia proud and Mr. Caesar, so, so that's all good. I will post the Caesar recipe on the Facebook page. I haven't done that yet because Let's just say the recipe was not as complete as it, as it needs to be, and I had to I had to text Mark for some clarification. So I'll I'll have to write a few more things in um, in there. Okay, let's see. Uh, Joan knows I need some wooden spoons. Uh, yeah. Oh, your sister Dale is on. Oh, Dale is saying. <laughs> She's saying I did a good job in spite of you, Mark. So that's very sweet thing to say. My sister is very jealous because she knows I'm a much better cook than she is. <laughs> no, don't start your own fight with your own siblings <laughs> here. That's not okay. So the that's as much as I can see in the comments. Were there others? Hold on. I'm just gonna go back to Facebook and see what's happening here oh my goodness this is so confusing okay well mark thank you for i really do feel like a a marinara so oh wait okay remember liz i think we, okay we could designate you you get the designation of mama liz <laughs> thank you i'm so honored you've heard that but you know, one of my themes for the, all of cooking with Liz was to elevate things, right? Just not the same old stuff that I would make or that I would get takeout. And I really feel what I love about this marinara sauce, you think, oh, like a nice simple marinara sauce, but it's definitely elevated. It has a little extra to it. And that's that's the mama capra touch, I guess. So I'm try a little bit tonight on like a little piece of fish or some vegetables or, you know, it's. It's something you can keep in the refrigerator and use all week long for different little things just to elevate your world. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was even thinking I have, I have all that leftover frozen uh, turkey meatloaf from a couple of seasons ago. Oh, oh it's perfect on turkey meatloaf, yeah. Mm -hmm. A little bit of this on top of the turkey meatloaf would, uh, would be great. Okay, so, um, so what else did I wanna mention? I wanted to mention that I think I already mentioned that the test batch was worth doing because the new croutons are better than last night's croutons. Um, I want to mention that, you know, I knew we had an issue here that I'm trying to learn the no eyeballing rule. And yet you, my friend, are all about the eyeballing. So, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, different cuisines require, like if you're a baker, you need to be very precise. French cooking is very precise. Italian cooking, nah. You just try, you know, as you go along and it works. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, that's that's what I've done. And uh, okay, so let's see here. What else did I want to comment on? The um oh the okay, now when I see when I look at you on Facebook, it's 10 seconds ago. So I have to try to not look at you there. All um, right. okay, I think um I think we're good with that. I'm going to do a little wrap up for the rest of the show, but thank you, my friend. And thank you, mama. Tell Virginia that like, I hope I did her proud. It's certainly- I'm, I'm sure she will be delighted and she'll be expecting an invitation. Yes. For a full, full, you know, multi-seasonal dinner. <laughs> I will. Yeah. When the current unpleasantness is over, I'll come to your place. So cooking in front of you live would that would be a little more intimidating than cooking in front of you on Zoom. But um, anyway, thank you. My <laughs> sisters and misters, it's been a pleasure. <laughs> thank you so much. Okay. Okay. Ciao. Uh, oh, ciao, <laughs> ciao. So, all right, a few more things I want to say before we wrap up. Uh, can you believe it's season ten? That's double digit seasons, people. Susan Morningstar, I hope you were proud of the way Saucex. Uh, docked with the linguine uh, because we did say we wanted to um, like focus on just how exciting the space launch was and use some of that cool NASA language. I wanted to let you know that uh, you know what they were doing this morning when they when they docked, they were doing some leak checks and some vestibule pressurization. So I had my uh, I had my sous chef working on um, the vestibule this morning. Now he's just over here. You'll see, he's just, asleep, he's asleep under the dining room table now. Um, but I did put him, the sous chef 
took care of a few leak checks around here because you can't have that, especially when you're live. Um, but you know, as they say at NASA, it's a dynamic, it's a dynamic event. So it was very dynamic here at the beginning. Sorry, it took me a little while to get all the cameras sorted out. I don't know what that is. I, just, I do not like the Zoom. I just prefer my own phone. Anyway, but it was a very dynamic event at the beginning. Thank you for hanging in. Um, one thing I feel I wanted to say to my sister, Leanne, I really learned a lesson. Uh, remember back in season two, and again in season six, the roast salmon season, she made a point of just really dressing the salad in advance. Don't wait until the last minute to dress the salad. So I know, seems like a simple thing, but um, I did that right before I went live. I dressed the salad, added a little bit there at the end when I add the croutons, but it was mainly dressed. So it was just one less thing I had to think about, which, you know, when you're trying to dock sauce X with linguine, the fewer confounding variables you have, the better. So very dynamic. Thank you, Leanne. Um, and then one last thing, Tammy wrote this suggestion in the thread, like I think it was yesterday or maybe it was Thursday's episode. She was saying, because you know, many of you have commented on my post-it notes that, um, that what she would really like would be, why doesn't someone invent write on, wipe off, backsplash tiles? Which Tammy, I think that is a big idea. Like I don't just give your ideas away on some Facebook group. I think that's your idea and you should go do that. And I think uh, I think the sisterhood and misterhood, now that they've seen the effectiveness of the sticky notes, but how they do occasionally fall into the food, the idea of write on wipe off uh, backsplash tiles, I think that's a huge idea. So, so kudos to you. And uh, yeah, I think that's everything we had to say this week. So oh yeah, it's 12.30. Um, okay. That's it on, on the podcast on Tuesday. Remember, we have a new show on Tuesday. I will, um, I'm sure I'll get comments from, from Leon and Julie, which I'm looking forward to. And then I will decide by then what I'm doing for next season. So be sure to, to listen to the show this week so you can find out my schedule and what dish I'm making. You know what I'm, real, what I'm really loving the most, besides learning a few things that I needed to learn, is um, taking people's favorite recipes and learning how to make other people's favorite things. That is just really fun for me. So yeah, I need a marinara sauce. Doesn't everybody, right? Everybody needs a marinara sauce. But the fact that it's Mama Capra's marinara sauce makes it even more special. So on that note, I just wanted to say peace and sauce, sisters and misters. Take good care of yourselves and take good care of each other. <laughs>